Hey you guys, welcome back to Plus Girl Slay the YouTube channel. My name is Talia if you are new and I'm so glad to be doing a regular smegula. Hold on y'all, let me fix your girl cut her hair. <laughs> okay, if you follow me on TikTok, you know. So I'm just trying to, you know, you know, be okay with that. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> just trying to be okay with that. Um but i decided that this tuesday to bring you guys a paralegal video a regular smuggler sit down be you know be get put a little face on for the girls and um do a video so i get a, um, questions on instagram all the time so i decided to make a small short um series out of this with the questions that i'm asked on instagram and please do not be afraid to ask me any questions i'm an open book i do not mind sharing experience i do not mind sharing or pointing you to a person that is more experienced um that has more skin in the game whatever you need i'm a resource let me know and i will try to help you get there okay so this paralegal video this for paralegal tuesday today is going to be is all about classes um i really want to stress these classes because my questions usually come from people that are either um, just started their program or considering starting a program now when i first started my program i do in the description box always leave um, my paralegal videos for people that are thinking about starting or just starting they're always in the description box below they're also on a playlist um, and i think there's still that information still holds true today so it's still very very helpful still very very um, but today we're going to be talking about the best classes you can take in your program if it's offer these are classes that honestly you guys with the way that everything is shaping up um shaping up to be and being in um and the role of the paralegal now these classes are going to literally put you ahead of the game i feel um and if it's offered don't miss out and some of these classes if your program is a um, NALA certified program um, if you're here in Florida or if it is certified by the American Bar Association that's what I'm looking for um, they require these classes um, and that's a, that's in itself is a good place to start find a program that is certified through the American Bar Association okay just a little tip that ain't got nothing to do with this but just help yourself I didn't okay. put these in any order um, but I'm going to now because that's how my brain works the very first class that I would recommend taking, even if you've decided to go um, to change your major to paralegal or paralegal studies, however it is said in your state, is intro to paralegal studies. Why? Because a lot of the questions that you have, people always, and that's with any that's with any words right you because you hear a word often or you've heard of it before you automatically assume because you've heard it in repetition that you actually know what it means but when people are just like oh well what does that mean you don't have a good explanation for it and you're just like oh you know it just means cautious or it means whatever um and what that intro to paralegal studies i think it should be required in any program because it gives you a, a literal high level overview of paralegal as a field paralegal as um what it means and the biggest 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 key especially in my intro to paralegal class is it starts to acclimate you to the language that is the entire that is a big chunk of the reason why i went from a political science major to a paralegal studies major is because i knew that i wanted to be i wanted to go through to be an attorney eventually but um i wanted to go with all of the tools and that includes the vernacular that includes um those little caveat words that they don't really tell you they only tell attorneys whatever and i learned a lot of that vocabulary and a lot of those languages and a lot of those terms in my introduction to paralegal studies class and so when you hear those words you can now associate them to certain things even if it may be incorrect so when you hear a pleading you can associate that to a courtroom setting right or writing samples 
or you know you can point yourself in a better direction um to find what it means and even down to the latin that that is what it would a good basis so on top of getting that high level overview of what the field entails what is required of you in the field even though if you work for smaller law firms we know that they require more um, it gives you like i said a very high level overview of what you can expect so you can really make the decision of is this what i want to be doing is this going to get me to my next place in life is this going to propel me to my next step whether it's in the paralegal field or not right so very very important class if they have it even if it's offered as an elective take it um and try to take it before or within your first semester i think that'll really be helpful if you're like me and you change majors um i took that as my final semester of political science and once i took that class i was like oh yeah this is better going to get me to where i need to go so i changed my major but yeah definitely definitely need it the next class that if you if it's offered please please take it um is legal research and writing i cannot tell you I cannot express this enough. It actually blows my mind when I hear other paralegals say that this class was not offered in their program because it's so preposterous. It is so crazy that they don't offer legal research and writing. That is the bulk of what paralegals do. Not only are you researching heavily for your attorney, researching heavily for yourself, um, you're always writing. And even if you're not writing, you're proofreading writing as well. And if you don't know what to look for, how, what, what you supposed to do? <laughs> so if it is offered, do not skip on it. Take legal research and writing. And I actually took regular legal research and writing because it was required. And I took advanced legal research and writing. And I even kept that book. I still have that book. I still reference that book even in my current position, which is not a traditional paralegal position. Um, but I still reference that book. Um, it breaks down sentence structures um in those things like pleadings in those things when you're having to um brief cases um it it, it it is just so imperative like that is probably the most important class that i took was legal research and writing it even helps you with punctuation and it really helps you um and introduces you to case citing which is super important in your role you're not going to be able to get away from that some attorneys are not as strict on how you cite um in some classes even when you're going through school you're going to be required to cite cases um and some teachers are not as strict um but citing cases there is no generator this is not biblio <laughs> this is not bibliography.com or whatever it's called you have got to use that blue book <laughs> and you got to get it right um especially depending on what portion of the law you're going into if you're going into those niche things or into into like probate legal research and writing is your best friend if you are going into um what is it called trademarking and things like that legal research and writing is your best friend <laughs> so like if you're going into those areas it is you like please 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 do it <laughs> so the next class that i think is very imperative is business law um i put business law up here because i think a lot of time i know a lot of times paralegals don't realize that you can actually be a freelance paralegal and business law gives you a blanketed um overview of how to do that it helps you with law and business whether you're going in business for yourself 
whether you are going to be a freelance paralegal, whether you are going to be a regular paralegal, business and the law is so close together. Um, there it's no, a lot of people, especially in the school that I went to are required to take business law, whether they're paralegal majors, whether they're business majors, whether they're communication majors, they require that because there is, um, real life lessons to be learned in business law and that's another book that i kept and even basic things that it breaks down um like the difference between corporations and llc maybe you need to sue them people and you need to understand how that infrastructure works before you contact an attorney to do those things right just wanna it, it just was a really good class it's something that i would recommend i took it as an elective um, and I'm so glad I did. I actually took a business law one and two, both as electives. Um, but I will talk about that in another video on how to um, effectively choose electives um, and maximizing your time. But business, a business law class, take it. We are moving. And I say this all the time. So if you are an OG subscriber or you have heard my paralegal videos before, I say this all the time, we are moving away from, you can just have one good job and sustain yourself. The, no. <laughs> and maybe we never were there. <laughs> but um, if you want to go into business for yourself, or you want to help a family member with a business, or you want to be a freelance paralegal, or you want to do any of those things, business law is a really, really good class. And like I said, it even gets to, um, there's even chapters on like taxes um, in the law that is just helpful. I just feel like it's helpful for um, non-paralegals, non-traditional paralegals, regular paralegals. It's just a good class to take. Um, if you can. So if that is something that's offered, I would recommend taking it. Okay, let's see. The next class is law office management. And I want to tell you guys a story um, about this um, before I tell you why it's important. So the law office management class that I took was actually co-taught and a lot of people goofed off in that class because they were like, oh, this is stuff that everybody knows and this is stuff. And a lot of them ended up failing that class for no reason because they thought they knew everything. And what law office management, why I recommend taking it if possible is because if you're going into the paralegal field in any capacity, the skill set that you learn in law office management, you will use. Um, law office management teaches you how to manage a law office, which comes down on a paralegal, especially if you go, if you're at smaller firms, sometimes you don't even realize that you're actually managing that law office. You're managing the filing systems, you're managing the intakes, you're managing those type of things. And those skills are so good to learn. I learned so much in law office management and systems, organization, um, effective organization, um, effective color coding, things that you can implement into that law office to make it easier for you to understand what your attorney wants as, um, from your paralegal, from you as the paralegal. Um, I learned how to manage um, account, some accounting things. It didn't touch on a lot of accounting things, but it touched on some accounting things, but it really taught me literally the best organization skills that taught me systematically how to organize if your law office is not computer based because a lot of smaller law firms or older law firms they're not in computer systems um so you are going to have to figure out how to go through all those files and realize this when you're replacing a paralegal um <clears throat> you have to figure out their system and sometimes their system is trash <laughs> So, um, but law office management was one of those classes that I was just like, I don't understand why no one's taking this serious. It is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. And I did not keep that book. I did keep the outline for that class, but you are going to need to know how to manage a law office because whether you're directly, um, a lead paralegal managing a, a um, law office or indirectly, um, managing a law office because 
you know they'll try to put everything on a paralegal to be doing you're gonna want that basic skill set and it was such an important class and it taught me so so much and those things like I said, the, the the chapter on effective organizing was so worth it. It taught you how to organize files um, and how to switch a paper-based, you know, physical file law office to a computer-based. Um, even if you just have the computer base as a backup, you know what I'm saying? How to um, get rid of files as well, because after so, depending on your state, there are, you know, statutes that are put in place where attorneys have to keep these files for a certain amount of time in case of retrials or things like that depending on what you know you're doing but it even teaches you on on how to effectively um, close out files and that actually because I took this law office um, management class that's actually how I was able to one build um, a relationship with an attorney that actually gave me my non-traditional internship um, and so when everyone else was like scrambling to get it, I because I had that class, I was able to um, build that relationship and get into that internship uh, and sustain that internship for, yeah, both my A.S. and my bachelor's. So I think it is a really effective class. Another thing that class taught, that law office management class, was how to effectively, and I don't know if that is something that's, concurrent with how everyone teaches it but it also taught on how to build yourself as a paralegal a portfolio to bring with you on interviews to show other law offices what you're capable of and what you can do and that's something that's a skill that just puts you ahead of the game everybody comes with a resume right because when you sign up for the job they tell you <laughs> bring your resume right um, and maybe they tell you to bring two references but if you have a portfolio of all of the things that you can do uh, for that law group or for that law office, they're going to be like, oh, okay, this, this person, you know, came to win here. This person can really be an effective member on our team. Um, but that law office management class, <laughs> take it and take it serious. Um, I didn't keep the book. Like I said, I didn't feel like I needed to keep the book, but I did keep the outlines for that class. And just phenomenal so if you have the opportunity to take it take it my camera cut off so if my angle looks different i apologize so the next class that i think is super super important to take and i um it was required for me to take and it actually is a good class i'm glad i took it um hold on girl let me get comfortable here is um introduction to accounting it was a requirement for my program to take that class because sometimes paralegals are tasked with assisting accounting in billable hours and tracking billable hours. Um, I know you definitely track time. I've had to track time at all the paralegal jobs that I've held. So it doesn't go as deep into accounting. It Introduction classes are always high level overview of that field or of that, um, of that, genre for lack of better words maybe there's a better word for that but so but what it did teach me because I was in the paralegal program is billable hours and the different ways to identify billable hours and the different ways to catch if billable hours are not good I know a lot of law offices nowadays are moving to a more an easier system where you know you basically clock that time I know um, I forgot what program that is and it's a computer-based program and I forgot what it's called but at my internship she used it it was really easy too but you can literally like once you open the file you can start the timer and it'll clock the billable hours that way but I also have worked at a law firm where you gotta write it down on paper, honey. And you gotta know that once you get to 1.25 or whatever, like, you need to round it up to one point, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So an introduction to accounting is really good because like I said, a lot of times, um, you as a paralegal um, have to work hand in hand with accounting and it's easier to 
do that it's easier to keep that relationship kind of not uh volatile <laughs> if you understand what accounting is looking for and understand what accounting does so i really really think that that is also a class that if possible an introductory class don't just go into accounting two three and don't do that okay don't do that but an introduction to accounting definitely so the final class that I would definitely recommend taking, if possible, is a certificate prep class. If you plan on getting um, not just your bachelor's in paralegal, but a certificate class, um, I took it as an elective. Um, and I thought it was a waste because we actually ended up doing the same co coursework in my capstone class, um, but I don't think they realized that. But anyways, if if this is not in your capstone class, take the certificate program for your state if they offer it as a class. One, it is definitely cheaper than getting an outside tutor to tutor you to take the certificate test to be a certified paralegal. Um, and two, it's, I don't wanna say it duels as an LSAT prep class, but a lot of the tools, a lot of the tools that I learned um, in that certificate prep program have actually been helping me a lot while studying for my LSAT um, and helping me a lot in kind of navigating that boring text um, that standardized tests tend to do. You know, they, they make it as dry as possible so that you don't do your best. But that class actually it was really good prep because it's prepping you for a state test and that's essentially what an LSAT is or if you're taking a GRE or whatever it's a state you know a standard test um, I hope that this helped um, and please let me know in the comments any classes that you would like to add to this list leave it down for the community down in the comments be sure to like and subscribe and I will talk with you guys soon you guys be blessed be well and I will see you next time bye